Welcome to Shift Happens, week number to be determined. Uh, I'm here with a really cool guy. His name is Jeremy Kerrigan. Did I get that last name right? Yeah. Sweet. Jeremy Kerrigan, all the way from Arizona, a chiropractor out there who's coming to chill with us today at Cairo World. Uh, so Jeremy, you know, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself and kind of, you know, what your practice is like in Arizona and then what got you into chiropractic? Awesome. So I'm Jeremy Kerrigan from Arizona. Went to school here in the Midwest, so it's great to be back. Mostly. It's a little cold. Yeah, a little cold, you know. Surprising Arizona guy, he comes and visits us in March, in a March that's yeah. definitely coming out like a lion. Yeah, it was like 88 yeah. degrees when I left Arizona, but... So awesome. I got into chiropractic over a decade ago. Um, I used to have headaches, neck pain, back pain. I just thought pain was normal. You know, my dad had pain, my grandparents had pain. Everyone thought that that's the way life was supposed to be, but met a chiropractor and suddenly it was different. She worked on me for a couple of weeks and I used to have headaches every single day of my life. Um, and after I worked with her, I went three months without a single headache once and it just kind of turned my lights on. I could then stand up better and more confidence and I just thought this chiropractic thing's pretty cool. So mm -hmm. a few years later decided, you know, I want to do something with my life that's going to help people to make an impact and chiropractic had done that for me and I wanted to do it for other people. So Absolutely, you're kind of paying it forward. Yeah. And you know, it's funny, you bring, you know, when, whenever we ask people, how did you get into chiropractic? And mine was kind of a similar thing. I was having a lot of growing pains around seventh grade, sixth grade. Okay. And my chiropractor told me, you know, Sean, growing pains in your age is common, but it's not normal. And I think that that's important because most people out there would think like, you have a headache, a little headache every day? Well, yeah. that's just normal. Yeah. No, it's not normal. But that's yeah. what I tell people all the time. I'm like, it's normal and abnormal. It's normal because your body's trying to deal with something. But mm -hmm. it's abnormal because it shouldn't have to be dealing with that. And it's trying to deal with your you know, subluxation. Your spine's out of balance and it's stressed. And your body's dealing with it the best it can, which is usually pain. You know what I'm saying? Hey, something's wrong here. So we should probably listen to it then, right? Absolutely. Like maybe not continue to hit it? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it's right. like the fire alarm, you know, it goes off, you don't just pull the batteries out and, you know, run away. You know, no. Just take Advil or, you know, stretch or, you know, rub them. So the, so the Advil and the stretching, that's kind of like pulling the battery out. Yeah, you're just, you're just telling the body, okay, stop yelling at me. I would want the battery in, that way when I, if there is a problem and the alarm goes off, I can pick up the kids, you know, I can maybe grab some food, because it might be a while for the fire department to do its thing. <laughs> yeah. Cool. But you want to be warned, you know, and we, you we train be our warned. bodies to, to do that instead of being numb to everything else. And chiropractic does that. It takes the pressure off, lets things function right, so when something's really wrong, then our body can tell us. And when you're functioning right, you are a much more happy camper. Absolutely. So, um, and, and you, you know, uh, where are you from originally in the Midwest? I grew up in Arizona. Okay. Born, raised, everything. So chiropractic school is in the Midwest. Yeah, came to Palmer College. Very cool. Midwest. And so, uh, you know, you've been hanging out with for a few hours here. He's been here most of the morning at Cairo World. What are some of the things that you've learned so far? I just love how simple it is. You know, it's not complicated. Chiropractic's not this huge complicated mess. It's your body's out of balance, it's subluxated, that's stressing the nervous system and not letting you live the full life that you're expected to live. Really nothing more complicated than that. Absolutely, and it, it still befuddles me that there are some in this profession that try to make it so complicated and it is so simple and people love simple, they're looking for simple. Absolutely. Um, so then another thing I'll ask you, Jeremy, as we close up here, you know, the, the reason why I love talking to guys like you is because, you know, you're, you have much more experience than me because I'm, you know, just a baby. I'm in school. You've been out doing it for a few years, but you're, you know, you're at that point where you're still kind of a baby too in that you're not, you know, like talking to guys like Dr. Lau, they've been doing it for 25 oh, yeah. plus years. 30 years. Here it's a good spectrum to get. So for the students yeah. watching that are still in chiropractic school. A uh, couple things, uh, if you could just give them a little advice, maybe what to look into while still in school, and then also to those first couple years in practice where you're out, 
new in your community, tr- you know, making it happen. What that was like for you? Yeah, well, in school, my goal was to visit as many offices as I could. You know, getting in, seeing how people do it, just you know, live on the on the ground, basically. You know, in school Absolutely. they teach you the textbook stuff, but until you see it actually in action, it really doesn't. I, I wanted to visit at least 25, and I think I exceeded that in school. And that's where you see that. You see the day-to-day communication, you see how simple they can make it. And then getting out into practice, I, I always, I've always heard new doctors talk too much, you know, and I did the same thing. No. You're, I still you're do right, the same you're thing. Right. Yes, guilty, I just, guilty as charged. I sp- I have so much great information in my yeah. head, I think I need to spew it out, but it doesn't need to be. they got to understand everything in the first visit. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Every little detail. And it doesn't, they, to them, you know, and to all of us, it doesn't matter the details. It just matters, is this going to help me? You yeah. Know? And if we can keep it simple, you know, the spine's off balance, it's stressing the nervous system. I'm going to put it back in balance. I'm going to relieve that stress, and your body's going to feel and function better because of it. Absolutely. It take much more. Absolutely. And the, the thing I the thing I think most of when I when I hear you say that, you know, we we talk too much. Yeah. Which we do. The majority of chiropractors, everybody talks too much. Uh, my my chiro mom, Dr. Lyle's wife, Sean, she always says, you know, we're trying to educate chiropractic patients, not chiropractors. Yeah. So that's uh, definitely yeah. something to be said about that. So anything else you want to tell the students before we uh, wrap up this shift? Oh, uh, just keep it on, you know, get out there, learn. This is a great profession. Welcome to it. Absolutely. So this guy, you know, he had a written goal, a specific goal, 25 offices. I would invite you students to do the same. And thank you for joining us on The Shift. <laughs>